So I'll log in. Default username is Cumulus. Default password is Cumulus Linux Bang. I have config shows me that by default, I only have ETH zero, the management port and loopback zero configured. Log in to switch to. I have config shows me the same information, ETH zero and loopback zero are configured. So what I'll do initially is configure the interfaces on the switch and get the two PCs to ping each other in VLAN one, and then we'll move them to a separate VLAN. This is Linux, so you use Linux commands, such as nano to edit Etsy network interfaces. So sudo nano Etsy network interfaces. Scrolling down, I can see auto loopback zero and auto eth zero. So what I'll do now is create switch port one, I face switch port one, switch port two, I face switch port two. So those are the two switch ports that are used to connect the network. ETH0 is a management interface, which is in a separate MRF, similar to a VRF or virtual routing and forwarding instance. So that's not part of the forwarding plane of the network. Control X, yes to say we want to save the file. Press enter to override Etsy network interfaces. So cat Etsy network interfaces shows me that I have switch port one and switch port two configured. I have config, however, only shows ethernet zero and loopback zero. I have to use the command sudo if reload hyphen a to bring those interfaces up. So as you can see here, switch port two, admin is up and operational state is up. Same for switch port one. Administratively up, operational state is up. You don't need a license to bring up switch port interfaces or front panel ports in Cumulus VX. You would have to do that on a physical switch. So switch ports do not come up on physical switches by default, you have to apply a license to the switch to enable those ports. So IP link show switch port one. We can see that the interface is up, up. Switch port two, interface is up, up. Let's do something similar on switch two. So sudo nano Etsy network interfaces. You could of course use VI if you prefer that to nano, but to keep it simple here, I'm gonna simply use nano. So auto switch port one, I face switch port one, auto switch port two, I face switch port two, control X to exit, press Y for yes to save the changes and override Etsy network interfaces. So IP link show switch port one shows that the interface is currently down. Same for switch port two, interface is down. I need to bring the interfaces up so I could use sudo if up switch port one and sudo if up switch port two. On this switch, I simply reloaded all the interfaces. Here I'm bringing up an individual interface. So, IP link show switch port one. Switch port is up, up. Switch port two, up, up. So we've enabled switch port one and switch port two on both these switches.